Hi Judy from Witch Peacecraft, welcome to today's video. It is the 1st of May and time for Rock 2022 AU and our first album cover for May. May the 1st also happens to be Thing Hubby's birthday, so we've had a busy day and I am a little late. I apologise for being a bit croaky, I haven't been 100%, I think I'm getting the nasty um, flu that's going around here at the moment. Anyway, the other apology is I'm quite late um, and if I haven't replied to your emails or messenger or Instagram, that's because this week everything crashed. I had someone at work send me some photos that they don't normally do. I normally keep everything personal, but they for some reason sent them through my personal account and it crashed everything. It's taken Reeves quite a few days to sort out for me. And mainly because I wanted to make sure I had all the names of the people who posted and participated in April in Rock 2022 for the participant prize draw, which will be at the end of this video. Um, we're a couple down on last month and so it's declining. I hope we're not losing interest, guys, it, um, that it will climb back up. It's just that people are busy at the moment. But yes, the prize draw for the $25 gift voucher will be at the end of the video. Um, if you don't want a gift voucher, whoever wins, we can come to some arrangement. So April, we explored genres. We did disco, which was a lot of fun. And with tongue in cheek, we did punk rock with chipmunk punk. A lot of people enjoyed it and it brought back memories of their childhood. Quite a few people had that record when they were younger. And we've got some really cute, interesting projects inspired by Chipmunk Punk. We had a Chipmunk Punk rocker with his little mohawk. He was really cute. Um, a pair of reading glasses as a bookmark. That was awesome. Really unique. And we also had a gnome, a very colourful gnome. And I really like gnomes, so yes, he rates a mention. So, we will move on to May. But I will um, show you what I did. I'm a little behind. Um, I've done my square, but I haven't put the border on yet and sewn in the ends. And I just stuck to the colours of Simon, Theodore and Alvin for my square. And same with my zigzag blanket. I just did a few of the colours, um, like two rows of each, and then finished with black. Yes, life is pretty busy at the moment. So that's me and that's April. I'll just pause the video and I'll be back with you shortly. So May, what will we do for Rock 2022 AU in May? Well, for May for me is Eurovision Song Contest time. Now, I'm not sure everybody's heard of the Eurovision Song Contest, but I'm sure you'll like learning about it. And the album we will feature will be one of the winners over the number of years I have watched it. I can't miss it. I have to watch it. It's just funny, it's entertaining, and it's always interesting. So the Eurovision Song Contest happens every year in May, and this year it'll be in Italy, because it's usually the year before who won it, their country gets to host it. Um, it'll be held in Italy, in um, Turin, I think it is, and they've had it before. They had it in 1965 in Milan, and 1991 I think it was in Rome so Italy won it last year I wasn't keen on them winning it the band that won it but anyway that's the way it goes because it's a country and public vote now the weird thing about Eurovision now over the last few years is Australia can participate which I don't necessarily agree with because we're not in Europe. It, it's not Eurovision with Australia in there. In the past, before we were allowed to participate, some of our singers and entertainers used to do like the halftime show, I guess you call it, and be a guest on the show. We've also had Australian singers perform for other countries. In 1974, the most popular year, Olivia Newton-John, um, performed for Great Britain and she came fourth in the Eurovision Song Contest. I believe Celine Dion's performed in it for another country. There's been quite a few different acts. Anyway, 
I'll give you a bit of information about Eurovision. Eurovision 2022 will be the 66th edition. And yes, it will be entertaining. 40 countries will participate. There are two semi-finals on, I can tell you the dates, the 10th and 12th of May. And then on the 14th of May will be the final when they pick the final winner of Eurovision and it's never what you really think. It's rarely have I ever picked a winner. Mine always comes second or third or something. Um, this year Armenia and Montenegro will make a reappearance after an absence and Russia was supposed to participate but they have been excluded due to the invasion of Ukraine which I give a big thumbs up to. Um, that's just my personal opinion. So the guy, they picked the Australian guy that SBS, the television station here, has a show and a contest where the public can vote. And the winner this year is Sheldon Riley. I can't say I know a lot about him. I did see some of the vision. He is very different. Um, he has been in a lot of song contests. I believe in 2020, he appeared on America's Got Talent and was eliminated in the third round. Um, he might be a little bit over top for America. Anyway, as I said, we wish him well, but he's not from Europe. He's from Australia. So what will we do to celebrate Eurovision and the song contest? What band will we pick? Well, the last few years, there's been some really crazy ones. In 2006, I think it was, was Lordi, a hard rock monster band from Finland. They won it. If I can find a clip on YouTube for it, I will put it in the playlist below. I think it was 2014 when um, Conchita won it from Austria. A trans person, a really attractive person with a beard and has an amazing voice. So Eurovision does not discriminate. It can be anything that is great in music. So 1974, the winner was and has been the world's most popular winner of the song contest. And our album cover the first, who is it? It's ABBA. Yes, ABBA. Look, this isn't a great cover. It's very um, earthy, golden tones. But it is my favourite ABBA record. Um, on here we have SOS, um, Bang, Bang a Boomerang, uh, Mamma Mia. But not the song they won Eurovision with. They won with Waterloo. It was the first time they actually appeared as ABBA. Prior to that, I can't think what they were called. And they sang Waterloo and won it. Now... The fashion was amazing and the most famous thing from Eurovision was the Abba Beanie worn by one of the girls. Can't think of her name. Are we? Oh, the blonde one. I've got a mental blank. Anyway, she wore the Abba Beanie and I've made one, especially for today. Now, you know I don't wear hats because I don't rock hats. This is a tutorial on YouTube. I cannot remember the lady's name because she's Romanian. It is in English with a strong accent, but it's really easy to follow because it's mainly half double crazy. And it's an unusual way to make a flower. I've never made one like this before. Look, on Eurovision, it looks very glittery, but when I look closely, it was sequins sewn onto the hat. I didn't have glitter blue. I used acrylic blue and some cotton variegated blues. And then I sewed some beads on to make it a bit glittery. But this is my other hat. I don't know if I'll wear it again. Anyway, to inspire you, the band ABBA, I have been to visit the ABBA Museum in Sweden. That's how much of a fan I am years ago. I put some photos at the end of the, what I saw, just a couple so you can get inspired by ABBA for your project for May. Um, it was before you could tap and pay with your credit card. I know I was on the bus when the host of the tour said that the Abba Museum didn't accept cash, 
credit card only and there was a big groan on the bus it was long before people stopped using a lot of cash they were very switched on then it is if you have the opportunity to go there worth a visit worth a day at the at the museum um, the display of ring ring on the telephone I remember that I remember the boots all the boots and the fashion and the outfits on the mannequins just amazing one of the uh, memorable moments of my travel anyway so you can be inspired by the lyrics of Waterloo and don't ever forget Dancing Queen who can forget Dancing Queen and the fashion she wears a blue beanie um, there's a choker if you look closely that uh, you can make a crocheted choker with a brooch just check out the fashion on Eurovision Look, I'll put some photos of Lordi so you can check out this monster rock band and of Conchita at the end just so you can see some of the unique people that come out of Eurovision but ABBA was the best to ever come out. I think on the 50th anniversary when Eurovision celebrated the contest in 2005, it, Waterloo was chosen as the best song in the competition's history to ever come out of it. Can I say again, I'm a big fan. I must be to wear a hat because I never wear a hat. Guys, I hope you enjoy this month um, and the start of this month with Eurovision and ABBA. Please check it out if you've never heard of it. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what's your favourite ABBA song if you've heard of them. And if not, check out the playlist and come back to me and leave a comment and let me know which one you like the best and what you think of the fashion. Because boy, we used to get around like that and you know, you look back now and go, oh, did I wear that? Anyway, guys, you could make a beanie with me you can make a choker, anything. ABBA will really inspire you. Stay well, stay safe. Remember, you can be a dancing queen this month. Peace be with you. Bye for now. Time to do our participant prize draw in um, for April in Rock 2022 AU Make Along. We have 23 names on the wheel. A few late entries have arrived since doing the video in time for the draw. And that now makes us about one down on last month. So let's spin the wheel. Good luck, everyone. Glitched a bit there. Elaine Khan. I have a feeling that's Kiwi the Crocheter. Congratulations Elaine. You have um, won yourself the prize. My email will be in the description below. Make sure you email me, let me know and we can organise either a New Zealand Spotlight voucher or an Amazon voucher. We'll work it out between us. Thank you everyone. Good luck with May. And remember, everyone can be a dancing queen during May. Bye for now.